All right, guys, I just got a new Optiplex 7010 small form factor. And here's what we're going to test inside of it. A GTX 1650 low profile all the way from Canada. <laughs> All right, let's unbox this puppy and get started. Okay, refurbishment means brought back to a state like new. Look at this. Look at that trash. I'm going to have to get this thing cleaned up. That's too bad. But it is an Optiplex 7010. At least they got the model right. Let's get this thing cleaned up a little bit. Look at that. It was so dirty. All right, now let's unbox the GTX 1650 low profile. Handy unboxing there. So in our box, we've got the tiny Frisbee and some literature, low profile bracket, some screws, and the card itself. She's a beaut. So first things first, let's open this up. See what we got going. Ooh, the inside is even dirtier than the outside. Time to clean this up a little bit too. All right, it looks like there's so many dust bunnies inside here. I'm gonna have to actually get some canned air. Check this out. That is dust, more dust. All right, let's go ahead and get this old graphics card out of here. There we go, goodness. It was holding on for dear life. All right, next step, we need to get the standard size bracket off of this graphics card and replace it with the low profile bracket. As you can see, there are one, two, three, and four screws holding this thing on. And there you have it. We have the low profile bracket on. So now all we have to do is plug it into the machine. The great thing about the 7010 is it has the 16X slot in the correct place. So you can use a double width card at the best speeds. So here we go. We're going to plug this thing down in there. Looks good and it's in all right now let's get the lid back on and we're ready for some benchmark tests all right it's low resolution looks like it hasn't installed the driver yet for the graphics card all right, it looks like it's installing drivers, and there we go. Installed automatically. I was on my way to 
installing it myself when it installed automatically it probably took about five or ten minutes and there we go now let's do a benchmark Yep, yep, yep. Here we go. And it's completed. Reasonable 3D score. Can handle the majority of recent games, but will struggle at resolutions greater than 1080p at ultra detail levels. All right. So the difference between the 1650 and the 1080 Ti is... 1650 is reasonable versus it said the 1080 Ti was low performing. So the i5 still in a pretty good spot considering how old it is. And the graphics card, we're right out of the red and into the yellow.